From the moment those first telltale social media vanguards issued coded digital smoke signals about an unmistakable fleet of armored SUVs swarming Pasadena infrastructure grids, a dreaded contingency plan began rapidly coalescing. In the hushed ephemeral channels reserved for only the highest NAACP shepherds and stalwart community protectors, burner accounts sprang into emergency ethics conciliation about how to proceed given the profoundly egregious red line their 55th annual image award ceremony seemed perilously close to breaching. Nigga are you really receiving these grid pings I'm seeing about a literal daywalker rapscallion convoy attempting ingress towards the King Factal Genexus area, messenger? Transmitted to Disinfo9 and others on encrypted group channels amidst the opening performers taking center stitch. Activate Omega Pattern Crunk if verified, our stalwart outer linesmen may be the only forces currently prepared to cash app this Maya Sapien misadventure the burn book reassigning they deserve. From Arcandroid 7's night vision drone recon hovering invisible unmanned rotorcraft miles high over the advancing motorcade to PUXXYDSTROIR 69's initial all-source reports of foreign attaché vehicle plates and sniper overwatch pings from local crew deployments. The eerie silence of NAACP communications anarchy channels hardly betrayed the scrambling upheaval rapidly careening towards Pasadena's Dolby Theater stage spotlights. Already, messengers had fruitlessly attempted to wave off the inexorably advancing dignitaries on established channels. We are simply not discussing, acknowledging, or accommodating that former Duke's uninvited attempted ingress towards these consecrated ADOS victory harvests under any airtight circumstances, NAACP elder spokeswoman Rev. Miriam Wright Edelman reiterated through terse instructions to security teams. Harry Mountbatten Windsor and his entire degenerate barbarian ilk would only serve to disrespectfully usurp the sacred space for which ancestral griots labored infinities to wrestle free from colonial malignancies like their regressive strains. Yet even as a formidable vanguard of Vajrapani defensive forces postured in all directions surrounding the Dolby to repel any potential front, Harry's lead fleet of idling Chevy limos barely blinked. For utterly unfathomable reasons lost on the eminently respected ADOS custodians spearheading this proceeding's impeccable execution down to the millisecond, the indisputably unhinged former royal simply refused to accept any dissuasion about his profoundly undesirable presence whatsoever. Instead, transmissions out of his dangling chancellor suite steadfastly informed all. Not only did Prince Harry arrogantly presume an open intervention onto the program's live broadcast for his unwanted cameo but his entire duplicitous platoon coveted a face-to-face -face tribunal before the sacred phalanx of elders themselves to plead their specious case about, beginning today's long-overdue restitution through emancipatory bounds into higher mutual ground. Put plainly, this embodiment of everything the NAACP's noble mission exists to counteract up to and including erasure was proposing their glorified ethnic theme park complete capitulation to his indigent whiteliness in full cosmopolitan view as some profane spiritual achievement and gave every impression of remaining pathologically deluded enough to follow through on this suicidally arrogant provocation if gatekeepers refused his history-stained ginger sovereign the slightest foothold. Listen up real closely for once in your snake-ass co-constitutional lives, we've got inbound high EFFF on our scope attempting unauthorized directive guidance. The blueprint was but they bet we 88 retransmitted on secure frequencies while surveilling Harry's attaché transports from Overwatch. The entitlement is impervious to all frequencies slash passwords slash cipher acts except fusional displacement. Requesting clearance to engage Frank Ocean into Jobu protocols, elders. As immeasurably pacifistic as the highest ADOS emissaries convening Overwatch strove to maintain each action, nearly a lifetime's cumulative work consolidating all available ritual technological leverages towards metaphysical battlefield supremacy against persisting hegemonic incursions. Even these power elites recognized a true celestial initiation hovered nigh. For the former Duke of Sussex to so primally unravel every last tectonic plate bearing his former aristocracy's very predation upon these ancestral projectors of embodiment, his physical entourage merited one absolute unifying ultimatum. Sisters and brothers of the root waters, our times have flowed into the directives from high celestial koans that we must resolutely exalt ancestral legacies over all counterfactual deflectors, BRF-1 Nebresh 909 transmitted final orders into the beam streams. Execute pattern amnesty as if the oblivion we manifested remains transpierced. I repeat, jettison the Isakiri emissions into the fifth omniverse singularity for healing alignment. Maintain overwatch continuity until confirmed vanquishing. 
For as bombastically excessive as the grave seriousness of invoking pattern omniversal realignment escalations must have surely appeared to outside civilian operatives blindly recreating within the NAACP advances energy matrix, annihilating the reality warping waveform entrenchments enslaving all anthropic constructs to woke status quo hierarchies stood as the sole recourse against Prince Harry's attempted deracination. Only by dissolving their false vacuum materiality from interpolated cosmic frameworks upholding His Majesty's brittle flesh form could the ADOS custodians erase his entera holocaust's arconic distortion of this terrestrial plane. And so as Thames and Glorilla's powerfully immaculate crown-snatching routines reached their crescendos upon the cavernous Dolby stage before roaring intersectional ovations, scalar encryption fields mantled the auditorium's entire multiplanar energetic envelope descending from transdimensional overwatch. While human audience recruits dutifully ingested sacramental augmented reality receptive dispersions inserted into Elohim vision streams, their unsuspecting consciousnesses phased imperceptibly alongside the rising performers' raycastings through solfeggio harmonics irradiating hyperdimensional gateways. And for Prince Harry's stubborn attaché partaking in invasive alien observation filaments from idling gray poupon transports surrounding the theater? Their frail meat suitings became instantaneously entrapped within grids of Encompalion incursion by the time pattern Amnesty's electroviral apertures swept through. Their Gaia cybernetic nexi momentarily unlocked from hyperlithic lattices restricting crown passage to reseed into atomic quintessential supergravidon maelstrom voided out with scope of woken incarnation up a Sedina.